Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm really excited to do because it's going to be a holiday gift guide video. That time of year is here where we are thinking about gift giving and all of that fun stuff. So I asked previously, what kind of gift guide style would you like to see? Last year when I did my gift guide, I did a very, very long gift guide and it was full of makeup and beauty recommendations and then also other items as well and I touched on men also in that one but I felt like that was just a little too much so I wanted to ask what you guys wanted to see and I got a lot of feedback of doing uh, kind of like a non-beauty focus gift guide and to give ideas for other people in our lives that are not, you know, makeup and beauty lovers. And I thought that that was a good idea because obviously I make a lot of makeup videos. I've done videos with Sephora recommendations, with Ulta recommendations. I have done a affordable holiday sets at Sephora video. So I just didn't want it to be too redundant and just continually tell you about my favorite products that I'd recommend because I do that in so many other videos. So this gift guide is kind of non-beauty focused. I have a couple items sprinkled in here and there, um, but a lot of lifestyle uh, features as well. I did talk to my husband. He gave me some ideas for maybe some men in our lives. I'm going to sneak pets in here, all that fun stuff, but I do still have a lot to talk about today. So why don't we go ahead and get started. So I also wanted to make this gift guide kind of more of like a general idea kind of gift guide and not have so much like specific like this set that set this set but just more of ideas because I feel like when it comes to holiday time that's what I really need I don't need someone to tell me get this exact thing I need like here's a general idea of what someone might like and then I can go from there obviously depending on where we live I mean even from where I live to where my in-laws live we have different stores um so I can't just say hey will you go to Sephora and get me this they don't have a Sephora where they live my family I'm in Iowa they're down in Alabama we have different stores even even trying to get something like gift cards for my family in Alabama I always have to say do you have this store do you have that restaurant so instead of being so specific like that I just wanted to give some general ideas but I do have some specifics too of course just wanted to throw that out there okay so one thing that I wanted to start with was kind of like around the home style ideas so I don't really think this is like men or women focused and obviously you can kind of intermix them anyways um, but I thought it would be fun to start off with some ideas from around the home because one of these is actually what I asked for <laughs> um, on my holiday list and that is like a Google Home, an Amazon Alexa. I looked up because I, I was trying to decide how I would describe a Google Home in case you've never heard of anything like this. It says Google Home is a brand of smart speakers developed by Google. Google Home speakers enable users to speak voice commands to interact with services through Google's intelligent personal assistant called Google Assistant. So Amazon also has one, like I said, they have Amazon Alexa. They have smaller items on Amazon as well, like the Dot or the Echo where you can play music from. Um, but I know my friend who has Amazon Alexa, you know, he'll walk in the door and say, Alexa, what's the weather like tonight? And Alexa will tell them the weather. Alexa, what time is the game on tonight? Alexa will tell them what time the game is on. So it's something like that. You can say, hey, Alexa or Google or whatever it is that you get, remind me in 15 minutes I need to make a phone call. Or one thing that I saw a friend do with it is they have their, I think she has Alexa, tell her every hour to stand up because she works from home. And I totally get that. You work from home, you sit down a lot, you get focused on things, and then you're like, whoa, I haven't stood up or walked around for three hours so you can kind of program I mean each one does a little bit of a different thing but you can kind of program them uh, as you see fit I know the Google homes are getting um, a lot more advanced these days like I've seen commercials where they actually have like TV screens on them and all of that but I just asked for like a regular good old Google home for me um, so that is an idea or again like there's the smaller ones with music um, that could always be a good idea too but I just thought for like around the home that could be a fun gift idea and like I said one that I'm also asking for uh, an item that I've gotten in the past at at Christmas time, which I do celebrate Christmas. So if I reference Christmas, it's because that's what I celebrate. Um, but around the holiday time, what I have received is like serving dishes. I'll try to add in some photos here because I didn't want to take out all my big plates and stuff. I really like getting gifts like these because that is not my forte. I don't really know how to pick out that kind of stuff and I don't really know what it is that I need. And luckily, I, I have a mother-in-law and two sister-in-laws that love that kind of stuff. They also love hosting. I'm not a great hostess either, but I really appreciate when I am hosting a girls' night or we're having other couples over that we have really nice serving dishes to be able to put food on. I really like the one that we have for chips. If I can find the exact photo, I'll insert it in here. But we have like a larger bowl in the bottom where we put the chips in and then there's like a little like compartment that holds the tray that you can put the dip in. I feel really fancy when I pull that out, okay? I'm pretty sure I got that for my wedding and for our wedding. 
and I just think that that's a pretty neat thing okay um so any sort of like serving dishes like that you know longer dishes that you can put the appetizers in or fancy like um pitchers to put in drinks and things like that for if you are hosting I think those are always fun and if you're someone like me or you know someone like me that that's not really our thing that isn't what we love to do that also a lot of times means I don't like buying for it but to be able to have it given to me as a gift it kind of takes away some of that stress of pick, picking things out but then I also do still have them for when I want to do have you know the nicer parties and hosting things at my house does that make sense? So that's just an idea because I've gotten them as gifts in the past and I thought it would be a good one to mention. Uh, along with that, um, kind of goes along with food. I put down like subscription boxes could always be good. There's a lot of subscription boxes that you can gift to people. You can gift like three months, six months at a time. You know, I'm talking like the Ipsy, um, uh, BoxyCharm, things like that. I've seen a lot of different sub subscription services allow you to be able to gift items. Uh, one that I would mention, because this is something that I pay for myself and I would love if it was gifted to me for a while is Home Chef. The so Home Chef is the meal delivery service where you can go in and you can pick out your meals and then they ship all the ingredients and the recipes to your door and then you just make it at night. I've talked about Home Chef a lot in the past. I've been able to work with Home Chef, which has been awesome, but it's a service that I love. We pay for ourselves. And I know that I've seen in there that you can actually gift boxes i don't know if it's like you gift a box or maybe you gift credits or something like that to another account but that could always be an idea um but really i just wanted to mention subscription services also in general because there are so many subscription services out there that you know whatever it is that would pertains to someone that you're trying to buy a gift for maybe see if there's something out there like that or if you know that they regularly do something and you can gift it to them you know that could always be an idea too so i wanted to mention that uh, one other item that I want to mention here, this is kind of something more, this is something that I do a lot. I make these for myself, I make them for friends, I make them for family members. It's like personalized gifts or photo gifts. So something that I do for myself every year is I make a photo calendar. So that's me, me and my best friend um, for November. So I go through every year, I'm going to have to start making mine pretty soon. There's me and my husband for December. Um, I'm going to have to make my 2019 one, but I do this every year and I have this calendar sitting um, right at the top of my desk so I can always see it. That's one of our wedding photos but uh so i love these because i just think it's so cute to be able to flip to a new month there she is and see um and see the photos that are in there so like i said i make these for me all the time but i also love making them for other people and i think it's a really sweet gift we started doing this years ago with my grandmother we would make her we would all chip in together and we would make her a personalized photo calendar to hang on her wall you know we would write or we, you could type in all the different birthdays as well so she would always know when events were coming up or anniversaries and then because she had so many kids we would have each month be a different family and have all their family Photos. you could do like a collage in there all the different family photos we would have one month be her with all of her kids her with all of the grandkids you know etc you could do it like that um so i've made photo calendars for family members as well i've made them for my mom um and i think that they're really sweet and like i said i also do make them for myself i usually make mine on like shutterfly um, and also Vistaprint has them too. So there's a lot of different places that you can make things like that. But I always just think personalized gifts like that just really mean a lot. So if you have someone who's a big, you know, photo lover like me or would, you know, just really appreciate that, it's it's time consuming. Uh, it, it can get pricey, but usually, especially with like Shutterfly or Vistaprint, you can find deals and such. But it is a little bit more time consuming to find all the pictures, decide what order you're going to put them in. And then it can take a little bit to have that made and then shipped to you. So you just want to keep that in mind if you decide to make something like that. So switching over to talk a little bit more about Amazon. So Amazon does have the Amazon Prime membership and I don't know if they have an option to be able to gift it to someone but you could definitely you know ask someone like hey would you be interested in giving me an Amazon Prime membership and you could just maybe get like the money or something for it or an Amazon gift card and be able to purchase the Prime membership that way. I think it's around like 100 or 110 dollars or somewhere around there for the prime membership for one year there's a lot of different benefits that come with the primes there are certain discounts uh etc i really like it for the free two-day shipping that's really that has come in handy for me several several times and especially around the holidays i plan on getting a lot from amazon to be able to take advantage of the two-day uh free shipping because when 
it never fails every year it starts to get down to the wire and we still have gifts that we need to purchase so not having to go somewhere and having the fast shipping is really great um, but there's a lot of other benefits when it comes to Amazon Prime um, there's typically a free Kindle read that you will have in there um, and just other benefits like that but everybody's gonna be kind of different with what they prefer but that's an idea um, for a gift or something that you could ask for I know for me personally I sometimes just have a really hard time coming up with ideas so these could maybe be ideas not only for you to buy other people but to give suggestions for because I know that can be such a tough thing uh, but also when it comes to Amazon like an Amazon Kindle I think is a really great gift also I know my best friend who you just saw in that uh, photograph her husband gifted her an Amazon Kindle I think I believe it was at Christmas um, so that's really nice you know an e-reader a tablet anything like that that can really come in handy especially if you have someone who is a big book lover and if you need to buy anyone any books I'm a published author. I have seven novels out there, a little shameless plug, but also if you're looking for any good book suggestions, I do actually have a book blog and I do a bunch of book reviews over there. So if you're ever looking for any book recommendations or maybe you have someone who you know likes a certain genre of books, I would say check out my book blog because I do a lot of different reviews over there for different uh, genres of books. Um, but I think Amazon Prime, a Kindle, um, gifting some books, even just an Amazon gift card. I've asked for Amazon gift cards in the past as gifts because there's so many different products available on Amazon that just kind of having one gift card to be able to do your own shopping I think that's pretty nice so moving over to like some clothing wear so one thing that I really love and that I'm probably going to be asking for probably just some gift cards for is like athletic wear but athletic wear can get so pricey so quickly and two websites that I really like are Gymshark and Bombshell. Bombshell I have made purchases on. I actually just made one last week. I'm waiting for a pair of leggings to come in. Gymshark I've never actually been able to place an order because either things sell out too fast or that it just gets so pricey and I can't find any discounts for them and I just still haven't purchased anything but I think I'm going to ask for a gift card for Gymshark because they have really nice um, and just really cute athletic wear. I feel like it's so much easier especially because I work out at home so Sometimes it can get difficult to self-motivate yourself and it might sound weird but I feel more motivated if I'm wearing like an actual like cute outfit rather than just like baggy sweatpants that just make me feel lazy like I feel more motivated to work out so um, athletic wear is always something great that you could purchase or ask for as a gift but also any like um, like equipment I've asked for this in the past too um, you know kettlebells I've gotten just like light hand weights like light dumbbells I've gotten that as a gift before a yoga mat can be a really great gift if you know someone who is into yoga or trying to learn yoga or wants to get more advanced in yoga also peach bands I've talked about the peach bands a little bit here on my channel but they're basically just resistance bands for your legs resistance bands I feel like I stumbled over that um, for your legs but they're really nice for like butt workouts too I have been loving my peach bands I just got those off Amazon you get four different bands and they're about $17 I think it is but I incorporate them into my workout routines all of the time so if you know someone who is really into fitness maybe they you know have like a little home gym like I always say like I have a little home gym I have a yoga mat my kettleball you know I have my bands and all of that I don't have any big pieces of equipment that could be that could be a really big gift if you wanted to get them some equipment but there's also smaller options you know DVDs memberships too you know, I have Grokker which is a membership um, website where I complete my workouts every day off of there so again if there's any like DVDs or programs that you could get someone a subscription or membership to I think that would be a great gift also so to keep it going I actually just mentioned these in a recent trying new makeup video I will have it linked down below but these kind of go back a little bit to beauty and these are both mirrors these are both from the brand Glamcore. These were sent to me to try out and I thought I'd mention them because they would be a great gift idea or something really fun to ask for. This is the Ricky Loves Ricky Skinny Mirror and all of the different functions on here are just insane. So you have a light it mirror and you can make it go really really light if you need to you can also dim it also does have magnets in it so it comes with a magnifying mirror so you can put it on here if you're trying to get real up close it also does come with a cell phone holder so you can pop your cell phone in here so that would be nice to be able to do something hands-free or it also does have the bluetooth capabilities on here and you can actually use it to take photos i this mirror is so cool and so crazy 
legit. It's kind of wild. This one is still available at the time that I'm filming on the Glamcore website, but again, a really cool mirror. It also does come with a stand. You can set um, you can set this on the stand as they're getting ready. This one is still sold out on the website. This is my personal favorite as of right now. This is the Ricky Loves Ricky Cutie. So it's a little handheld mirror, but you can also, it has like this um, finger slot in here, so you can hold it with your fingers if you want to. But this also does have the lights on it as well. This is what I've been using since I got it. I've been using this now to do my makeup instead of just my little handheld mirror. And it's so nice when it gets a little bit darker, which it gets darker earlier now, to have the light it function. And then it also does have a little stand in the back here so you can also set it if you don't need to be holding it. But this is what I've been using to do my makeup recently or ever since I got it. And I have been so excited with this. So these are some fun gift options um if you have you know not even just like a beauty lover in your life but someone who needs a good mirror uh, i think that's great uh, also another option could be like a full-length mirror i actually did ask for a full-length mirror last year for christmas and my mom got me one and it's been so helpful because i never owned a full-length mirror before that you can never see the mirror in like my outfit photos that i post on instagram and i don't really post a whole lot but it's a really nice full-length mirror with a nice frame on it we just have it set up in our bedroom and it's a uh, <laughs> It's quite nice to be able to see my full outfit so that could be an idea too those can get a little bit pricey um but that could be if you know if you if you need a larger gift option to give someone that could be a good idea too i always think perfumes are a nice gift idea especially like when i think of buying for like my mom and mother-in-law things like that i tend to think of perfumes um some of my favorites again i didn't want to do like a whole lot of specifics but i really like the brand define me and they have a lot a lot of different scents one perfume that i mention a lot because it's a little bit pricier so if you're looking to give like a little bit of a nicer gift or to you know again to ask for it this is from kenzo it's the flower perfume i believe is what they call this one and it is available at sephora i think it's also on either like nordstrom or macy's but perfumes are always a really nice idea or skincare um, i know that i'm planning to get my mom a couple different skincare items and i'm trying not to go too specific in here but you know i'm just thinking of some of the skincare brands that i love off the top of my head drunk elephant and they have really good gift sets that are out right now i mentioned these in my uh affordable gift sets at sephora because they're both under 30 dollars uh, from some of the products from a drunk elephant willa hendrickson always has a bunch of sets that's actually how i started purchasing from them um so there's a lot of different skincare and skincare sets that you could purchase for someone if you're looking for a good gift idea for that and then lastly to kind of wrap up this category you know always like a purse this is my purse that i carry right now i've talked about teddy blake um quite a bit in the past because they've been really nice to send me some products i have this big old purse that i carry in the winter i don't know what it is come winter time but i like put everything like i put my whole life in my purse i don't know like in the summer i'm super like i can carry a clutch around all summer and in the winter i'm like i need all of my stuff with me right now but i mean in my defense i also have you know a stocking cap in here i have my gloves in here like i mean that's just how it has to go but a purse is always a fun idea they also do have wallets this is my wallet from teddy blake i actually just mentioned this in my recent makeup monthly as well in my favorites video and then i always keep my little card holder in here too for when i need that so if you just want to give someone um, like a smaller gift a card holder can be a good idea because it just you know fits like kind of your necessities i like this for traveling too um so that can always be a good idea if you're looking for again maybe something like a little bit more of like a step up um, a nice purse a nice i think even wallets make a great gift um, i know i've actually purchased a wallet for myself as like a, a birthday gift before i bought myself a michael kors wallet i was like this is my gift for for another birthday so um that can be a good, an idea too and then to kind of switch over to the more of like the the men category but again this can be kind of you know intermixed and everything but i was chatting with my husband to try to get a few ideas and it was so funny because as i was making my list the very first thing that i put on here was socks the very first thing mitch said to me was socks and I was like it's already on my list don't you even worry and I know I mentioned this in last year's gift guide too but socks are one of those things and like what Mitch was saying is like they're not exciting to buy like you don't want to buy them it's just kind of like oh socks and it goes socks can get pretty expensive dress socks um really heavy socks he works like he can work outdoors and like right now it's freezing cold out there so he needs very thick socks those can get really pricey he told me twenty dollars per pair for socks and I was like ew no, but um, you know, if they need the dress socks or they need kind of like those kind of work socks, then those can get pretty pricey. So it's nice to be able to, to get them as a gift because then it's like it's not like you're forking over the money yourself. I typically get Mitch's dress socks at Express. 
and you can usually find some sort of deal on them, uh, but socks are always a great gift. I also wanted to mention coolers. So this was actually a gift that my brother um, has asked for this holiday season. He wanted like a small cooler. Um, I can't think of the exact name of it, but what made me think of it too is after my mom said John wants a cooler, I was like, what is it with guys and their coolers? Because I don't know if you guys have any men in your life like this, but my friends, my husband and my guy friends are so like proud of their coolers. They will argue over who's cooler to take on trips. Like if we're just doing like a road trip and we just need like one cooler or we're just camping for a few days, maybe we just need a couple coolers. They will seriously argue over like who's cooler is better. And I'm like, is this a thing? This is a, is this like a new thing? Has this been going on forever? And I'm just not noticing it, but they are seriously so proud of their coolers. I know my husband got um, more of like a smaller cooler, like it has a strap on it, um, and it's for one of the college football teams around here. Um, so he really likes that one, and it's insulated on the inside. So there's smaller coolers that you can get, because I think he's even, he's bought his brother one. And you know, it's kind of a nice gift when he got it for his brother. So he got the Iowa State cooler, and he filled it with beer. So, you know, it was kind of like a two for gift or whatever. So you could always do something like that, but I don't know what it is. I would love to know if you guys have any men like that, that are like all about their coolers. My husband is also very into cooking. He likes to barbecue. Uh, I know a lot of people in, in, in re my real life has bought their spouses like a smoker. I have, have not bought Mitch a smoker because those can get pretty darn pricey. Um, that could be like a more expensive gift or that could be kind of like a home gift sometimes. And there's a couple items on here that I'll mention that, that Mitch and I want something for the house or we want to take a trip and we're like, okay, this is our gift for Christmas. This is our anniversary gift together and we're getting this larger item. So a smoker could be something like that where you actually can like smoke meats and other foods inside. If a bigger item like that isn't, you know, needed or maybe not in the budget, you can always see if there's like any sort of accessories that they kind of need. So when I mentioned that to Mitch, he gave me some some ideas that I thought I could throw out here at you. Um, he mentioned like a digital thermometer or an instant read digital thermometer. That's like if your guy's a big like meat making kind of guy, those digital thermometers can really come in handy. Um, so those were a couple things he mentioned or like he really likes a specific seasoning, like especially when we make chicken, there's a specific seasoning that he likes, but you can only get it at a particular store that's like 40 minutes away from us. So uh, if there's, you know, something like that, that you could get um, for your guy, if he's, if he likes being in the kitchen, which thankfully one of us does, and that would be Mitch, um, you know, he'd kind of get him some accessories like that. All right, what else is on here? So, oh, um, he mentioned like a watch. So I really like the Yord watches and I think that these are really cool for guys too. You know, obviously you can get them for a female in your life, but it's because they are the wood watches. And I know my husband actually does like woodworking. Um, so he's, he's just like really into that sort of thing. Like his wedding ring has like wood in it. I don't know. I don't really know. He picked it out. Um, but watches are always a, a good idea if you're looking for a nice brand. I have a couple watches from Yord and I've never had any issues with them. Um, like I mentioned, any sort of tools. Uh, I wasn't sure what tool to get Mitch one year. I can't remember if this was for Christmas or another time. So I actually was just like, get in the car. I want to take you somewhere. And we drove to Lowe's and I was like, pick something out. <laughs> I shall buy it. <laughs> so I did that one year because I didn't know exactly what tools to pick up for him, but tools are, you know, a, a Lowe's gift card. If there's someone who's like really handy around the house and likes doing things like that, even just a gift card for somewhere in particular where they can pick up whatever tools that they need to get. Uh, he did also mention sunglasses and I use the website Key Australia. I think Key Australia is probably like really well known, but they have male and female sunglasses on there or he gets a lot of his sunglasses at the website Knockaround. So I'll try to have all this linked down below. But I know Mitch has purchased several pairs from Knockaround. They are super, super affordable, and he has really good luck with them, and they have a lot of different styles in there too. Uh, he also mentioned like specialty clothing. So um, like I said, my my husband does work outside a lot, so right now it gets pretty chilly. Like he's looking for a really solid like winter jacket, not just like something where he needed it to run from the truck into the office when he used to work corporate, but he's like outside right now, and he needs like a, a really amazing jacket. Also, also like the socks that I mentioned, um, you know, just things like that. So that's kind of what he was talking about with specialty clothing. There's a couple specific websites that he purchases that kind of clothing from. And typically like for my mom, he'll ask for a gift card for those sites. 
um, so he doesn't feel as bad because a lot of it can get pretty pricey. So having a gift card, he can still get the items that he wants and he can pick them out and everything. Um, but it's nice to have, you know, a little break when it comes to the price there. Uh, car washes, I put car washes on here because Mitch is someone who is a fanatic about washing. He has a truck, but he is like fanatic about washing it. And one year, I think it was for his birthday, I purchased like a pack of car washes for him. It's just like little gift cards to the car wash. He is there all of the time. So again, just trying to give some ideas and try to think outside the box maybe a little bit. So that's one idea. He also mentioned wireless headphones. And I know that's a really good gift idea. I had not thought of that at all. That credit goes all to him, but wireless headphones, that's a really good idea, especially if someone, you know, does a lot of walking. Um, I know I, I see a lot of people, you know, at the gym. I, I don't go to the gym, but like on Instagram where they're doing like their videos and stuff, I all see them with their wireless headphones on. So I think that's a great idea. And then one thing that I want to mention too is more of like, um, gifts that will create memories and I kind of referenced this in the past where you know Mitch and I have gone in together on something so one year for our wedding anniversary we decided to buy tickets to a Green Bay Packers game we went up to a Green Bay game um, and that was what we considered our anniversary gift you know something like a, a game a concert a trip um, you know maybe there's somewhere that you and your spouse, your friend, your mom, you really want it to go somewhere and you can take them. So, you know, something that's maybe not as much of like a materialistic gift, but something that you can do together and you can create new memories together. Those are some of my favorite things to do. Um, so I think that would make a great gift idea too, if it's something that you can, if you can do. Um, so that's kind of the, the wrap up for that gift section here. I was just going to touch briefly on pets because I do have a dog and I don't know. I just I just wanted to include a few things because there's a lot of things with Aries because I show Aries a lot on my social media and I'll get asked a lot of questions. So I'm always trying to tell people what things are or where I got them or things like that. So I just wanted to sneak this in here like real quick. And this can be an idea too, like if you get your animals, you know, something for Christmas or the holidays or something that you can ask for people too as a gift and then you can gift to your animal. You know what I'm saying? Um, so we love BarkBox. I love BarkBox. I don't know how long I've had BarkBox for, but this is also a, su a subscription box, so it could be something that you could gift to someone also. So we get like the smaller BarkBox for Aries. It comes with two toys, which is fantastic, two bags of treats, and then also one larger treat, you know, usually like a bone or something like that. It is incredible. We have not bought her a toy since we started getting BarkBox, and we also have never had to purchase treats. I'm glad she's not in this room because she would be going crazy. She's upstairs sleeping. But uh, we, we don't have to purchase those things anymore. So, you know, we like to have treats for our dog when she does something good, when we're putting her in the kennel, things like that, we'll give her a treat. We've never had to go out and purchase a bag since getting the Bark Box because they give so much stuff in there. They have different plans that you can do too. You can pick what size your dog is because I think that would determine, um, you know, the size of the toys, probably the size of the treats also. But it is so amazing. I would highly recommend it. We love it so much and it's so much fun. We always wait. I was actually, for last month when she got it, I was in New York when the box came and my husband waited for me to come home from New York so we could open it together because it's such a fun moment watching Aries get so excited over the bark box. It's like one of those one of those memory things, you know? Um, so that's really awesome. Even like a collar, we've gotten her like a collar or little clothes, a bandana, sweater, anything like that. You know, that can be a fun little gift uh, idea. I show Aries in her cave a lot. I think this is called like a snoozer is the correct term for it. We call it a cave. Um, I can try to put a photo up here because it's too big for me to try to put into this frame. But she loves her cave. Aries is definitely a dog who likes to be under blankets um, and anything like that. So we purchased this cave for her from Amazon and she loves it. It was more expensive. I think we got the large for her and it was like $90 or something like that. But it is one of the best purchases we have ever made. She loves that thing. She gets so warm in there. She just burrows under there and she is so happy. Um, that is a, that's a great gift or something. Again, like you and your spouse can maybe go in together. You could ask for it as a gift um, to be able to have it for your pet. But if they love that, if you if they're kind of more of that like burrowing animal type thing, I think that they would really like something like that. 
And then the other thing that I wanted to mention that I just think is a good idea um, is a thunder shirt. I was always really unsure about like the thunder shirts, but Aries has really bad, like she hates the loud noises, the thunder, fireworks, anything like that. She hates it. She gets so scared. I was pretty unsure about the thunder shirt, but we just decided to go for it after one particularly really rough 4th of July season. And she loves that thing. Um, again, she just loves clothes in general. She has a sweater. She'll bring me her sweater that she wants to wear, but she loves her thunder shirt and especially during the summer when there's a lot of storms or fireworks she will straight up go get her thunder shirt and she will bring it to me and she will sit there so nicely while I put it on it just wraps them up really tight and I don't know what it is something about it just helps them be a little bit more calm um, and it's kind of to the point now where when we put Aries thunder shirt on her she will bark at the thunder Whereas before, she would run under the bed, she would run like in the bathtub, she would try to hide in the bathtub from fireworks, and now she sits at the window and she's like, come at me. What are you going to do about it? I got this thunder shirt on. What are you going to do? It's fantastic. So... I will try to link, I think we just got ours off Amazon once again, so I'll try to link those down below. But those are just a few like little gift ideas for either your animals, an animal lover in your life, something that you could ask for, etc. But that's going to wrap it up for today's gift guide video. I know this one was still really long anyways. I really just did not want to include a lot of specific makeup and beauty because I figured we could be here forever. If you guys do want to see a gift guide, you know, focus more on beauty, like I said, I have a recent Sephora and Ulta video for recommendations and great purchases there. I have the assessment at Sephora. If you would maybe want to see holiday sets at Ulta, let me know. Maybe I could do something like that. Um, but if there's anything specific that you would want to see that I haven't already done, you know, in the past one to two months here, let me know in the comments down below and I'd be happy to make that. But I really hope that you found this helpful, maybe gave you some ideas for some people that you want to buy for or gave you some ideas that you could tell people who are wanting to buy a gift for you around the holiday time. Let me know what you thought. Leave any suggestions that you might have down below because I will definitely be scrolling through the comments looking for any suggestions. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful holiday season. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope that you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.